Hello everybody, we're back in RoboCraft and I wanted to show off a fun way of blowing off steam that I've been doing since about tier 5 and 6 when you're first able to buy aerofoils or wings more commonly um, I just like to make little uh, cosmetically similar you know low and high wing aircrafts. I've made a few biplanes and <laughs> a couple fun things. Usually I like this tail dragger orientation where you build the front wheels down low and the back one pretty much level with the fuselage and then it kind of taxis around on the ground like a real uh, uh, propeller aircraft with two wheels in the front does. Um, I've got a tier 5 rotor in the front and a couple thrusters tucked in there along the center of gravity um, just enough to make it fly it's pretty heavy it's uh, 170 cubes and then the tier 10 wings just because they're bigger so they visually look better because the little tier 5 and 6 ones look a little dinky but you could build this at tier 5 or anything like this I mean that's the first thing I did uh, when I had the extra money I think that's I think that's the first thing I actually ever spent GC on um, was uh, right around tier 5 I'd made it to that point just by grinding the free game and then uh, I felt like congratulating myself and you can buy wings and a whole bunch of new stuff at tier 5 a lot of stuff opens up uh, back then they keep changing things but there you get your skis so you got a whole new movement item that's when rails used to open up I think they're lower now um, yeah now the T4 is back um yeah, they've changed that a couple times now. For a while there, like there were tier one versions of everything. There were tier one hovers and tier one thrusters, and then they left and then came back. Yeah, it's interesting. I love it. You know, you look at this map. <laughs> look how much room there is. And keep adding stuff. All different ways to slice the onion. So let's see it fly. Um, there's really no way to get this wrong. The rudders and wings provide a lot of lift. Um, you might have to balance it if you're really obsessive about it needing to fly in a straight line. But, uh, no big deal. So, like, mine kind of dives if you don't hammer the space bar, which is that annoying clicking noise you're hearing. Because uh, there's a lot of weight in the nose. But if you move the wing forward or back, that would change that too. But it's it's good enough. Uh, if you put guns on this, yeah, you could join a match, but uh, it's not going to be <laughs> not going to be that great, sadly. Oh, look, see, yeah, it's calibrated to fly upside down without any added inputs. I did that on purpose. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a. I, the, one of the first one I did of these, I did put uh, rails on it, actually. It was also my first rail gun, and I thought, oh, it's going to be sweet. I'll just fly around and rail people, but uh, not so much. <laughs> I'd never used them before. I didn't realize that they didn't work very well while you're moving. I've gotten better at that since then. You can you can shoot rails while you're flying, but it's, uh, it's tough. It's easier with these new helicopter blades than anything. All right. Attempt to landing on this bumpy Mars surface. Oh, I don't want to land there. I don't think it'll do a loop. It doesn't have enough strength. Oh gosh. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, needs more thrusters or less cubes or both. Oh, but here's something you can do. I've done this in a real aircraft. I wasn't flying, I was just a passenger. Uh, There you go. You just go up a little bit and then do a roll. Oh god, pull out of it. Pull out of it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, pull up, do a roll and then and then do you do like half a loop. I forget what that's called. It's like a English knot or I don't know, Dutch loop or something. Oh, speaking of. <laughs> I know the internet loves talking about do a barrel roll. This is not a barrel roll. That is an aerolon roll. Because you're just rotating in space. A barrel roll, I can't even mimic, has you going up 
in a in the the, the, the you know the the whole plane moves in a in a circle if you're looking at it from the front in addition to doing a roll oh. so you'd need like um a separate control for your rudder i don't know i don't think you can do one in this game the the physics in this game work fine um <laughs> You know, I'm not gonna complain. It's it's the uh, it's the most open ended uh, physics engine I've ever seen uh, for like I don't know, what do you want to call it a combat game. It's a unique game. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of fun playing it, and I will continue to do so. Hey, if you have any questions about uh, small light planes, or you want to let me know anything, uh, just give me a shoot down below. We'll see you later.